How does this website make this awesome text blur animation effect? Let's make our own, one we can easily add to any site or app and customize it any way we like. So I'm gonna use builder.io for this. You can generate any new site or app that you want or connect to any existing code base. Then when our site or app is generated or loaded in the visual editor, we can start prompting. The main trick here is not to try and prompt from scratch. It's hard to describe in words these types of nuanced animated effects. Instead, I wanna give some example code. I really like this site called React Bits. It's got a bunch of different text effects you can use, and they have one called Blur Text that I think will make a great starting point. Now there's some differences here, but that's okay. The beautiful thing about using AI tools like Builder.io is it can take a cool effect and modify it any way you like and apply it to your site, app, or tech stack. So let's go to the code tab and let's find the example code section and copy it. Now we'll write our prompt. I'm going to say, apply this text effect to the headings on our page. So I can say, use an intersection observer to have the effect run when the text is in view. Intersection observers are a cool and somewhat new web tech that can give you highly performant animations when elements enter or leave the page. Also, I want my version to be a little bit different. So I want to say, animate each character, not each word. And then I'm just going to paste that code in and hit enter. Now the AI agent is going to apply what I asked for to this code, translating it to fit this site, this tech, whatever else is needed, and applying the customizations I asked for. And there we go. I have the starting point of this effect. On scroll, I'm seeing it animate in for each of my elements. But I forgot to mention one detail. The original one didn't slide the text. It only blurred it. And the code we copied had a slide to it. So let's say one more thing. Remove the sliding effect and make characters only blur. The rule of thumb with AI is be iterative. Give it feedback. Refine until you get exactly what you want. Don't assume it's going to get everything right from a vague prompt on the first shot. From here, we can apply any additional customizations we want. Add color, add fades, add the slide back. Honestly, after trying it both ways, I kind of like the slide effect, so I'll restore back to that point. And there we go. I like it. And the best part here is, when I love the site I built, I can share it with others, host it, or send a pull request to my existing site or app code, where the builder agent will send a well-formatted PR to our engineering team, where they can review the code diff, comment at the builder.io bot if they want to make any changes, and the agent will apply any changes they ask for here, just like working with another human. Cool. For links to the resources I used and other cool tips of cool effects you can use AI for to apply to your existing sites or apps, check out my latest blog post on the builder.io blog or just head to builder.io and start prompting really cool stuff and share with me your awesome creations so I can see them.